Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. I welcome you to today's chemistry lesson. The topic of discussion is structure of the atom in the periodic table. So today we are going to discuss oxidation number. Oxidation number, this is the charge possessed by either an ion or a radical. Ions and radicals are charged particles. So the charge that they possess is referred to as the oxidation number. So for example, a copper 2 ion written as Cu2 positive has an oxidation number of positive 2. So that is the charge that it carries. Another example, a chloride ion, Cl negative, has an oxidation number of negative 1. So the charge that is indicated there. If you take an example of a radical, like a carbonate, CO3, 2 negative, this one has an oxidation number of negative 2. So, Oxidation number is the charge that is possessed either by an ion or a radical. Atoms have an oxidation number of zero. Atoms have an oxidation number of zero. So they have no charge. And... Of course, we discussed that earlier in the topic, uh, whereby we say that the reason why atoms have no charge is because the number of protons is always equal to the number of electrons. The number of positive charges is always equal to the number of negative charges. So in this case, the oxidation number is only found in ions and radicals. The other thing I want us to discuss is chemical formula. And uh, the chemical formula uh, represents compounds uh, whose formula is written using the valences. So to write the correct chemical formula, it is important to understand the valency which is the combining power of elements and we'll take an example We want to ask ourselves what is the chemical formula of a magnesium oxide. We leave a space for answering that. Then B calcium chloride 
So the first thing when you're writing the chemical formula, uh, we write the symbol for magnesium is Mg, oxide is O. Then we come here and indicate the valency. The valency for magnesium is 2. The valency for oxygen is 2. So where they have the same valency, you simplify it into 1 is to 1, and then you cross multiply. So the formula will be Mg multiplied by 1, O multiplied by 1. So that will be the chemical formula for magnesium oxide. So for calcium uh, chloride, the symbol, so we start with the symbol. And then chloride is from chlorine. The valency is 2. The valency here is 1. So here you don't simplify. You just cross multiply. So calcium multiplied by 1 is calcium. Uh, chlorine multiplied by 2 is Cl2. That's the valency for calcium chloride. So basically that's how we use the, uh, the valences to write the chemical formula. Can take a third example. Uh, one that is involving a radical. We want to write the formula for sodium carbonate. So sodium, the symbol is uh, Na. Carbonate is CO3. Of course, two negative. The valency for sodium is 1. The carbonate, the valency is equivalent to the charge. It's equivalent to the oxidation number, which is 2. So you cross multiply. Sodium, you multiply by 2. And then the carbonate, you multiply by 1. So that will be the formula for sodium carbonate. So you will only use the charge to get the valency. So in the final answer, you don't put the charge. The charge has already been neutralized. So that's the formula. So we'll have a, an assignment on that. So in the assignment, what is the oxidation number? What is oxidation number? Uh, number two, determine the chemical formula of calcium nitrate, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydrogen carbonate, and magnesium sulfate using the valences. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. <laughs>